stamina potions in tab 1 and tab 5. Everything's a mess. Bring one food? What do you mean bring one food? What? No way, that's right. Quest thing says food as much as you can. I think one is them being lazy. Probably. I didn't bring as much as I can. <laughs> I guess I can go restock and bring as much as I can. In which case, I'll bring the recommended number of doses for potions and bring extra food instead. I am running out of mantas. Apparently I have an assassin on my ass now. Not the best time to cook more. You already did these. Oh, does that only show up once per section or something? No, don't eat the manta. Oh, it's over. It was a misinput. At the door each time you return a medallion. Okay. Where the hell am I going? I'm going over here. Who the hell are all these people? Why are the Khazard militia here? Clearly I've space barred through too many quests. I have no idea what's going on. Water guy, hand over the medallion. Alright. Oh my god. Well, all my stuff is gone. That can't be good. I'm gonna search this skeleton. I'm gonna read this note. I'm gonna take this bucket. Bucket. I found a shiv. I'm gonna go to sleep. Found a, found a lock pick? Found a knife and a lock pick in a prison cell. Uh huh. Oh no, it's the assassin. I remember you. I had to dodge your poison vials and lure you to hurricanes or something. I don't remember. Dust clouds. He's giving me a lockpick. I'm tr truly so blessed. Get me out of here. I don't want to read the dialogue. Who do you think I am? Who do you think you are I am? You're low-key upset we never got the bow sword? You'll be alright. It'd have been equivalent to like a rune crossbow and been dog shit. Two, 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 two. Three, three, three. Four, four. Five, five. Six, six. I love that stupid lock picking minigame. They started putting it in everything.
What is the purpose of making this place so big? I've just walked into a room. Couldn't I have just walked from that room into this room instead of having to sprint all the way around? Padding the length of the quest for no reason. I found the key. And I can't imagine doing this on the release. Be checking all these random runes, trying to find something useful for the quest, and it's all just useless fluff. Where am I going? Am I going through here? Found some rations. Got a stamina pot? Sure is. chests. Good thing the quest tracker tells me exactly which one to click on. I found an emerald key. I'm going to search this chest and hope I get some more rations. That's not a ration at all. That's some more damn lore. <laughs> You're not in a room. Jalan will now chase you down. Use Protect from Magic to reduce his damage. Run east into the room of the crevice. Clear it and go through. Okay. Good fight, Jalan. some rations. Thank you. some rations. Let's go. I am in fact on Duke now. Jalen, stop. Jalen, stop. You're embarrassing yourself. This one's not too bad. You've killed him 2k times. Fair enough. I did manage to do Leviathan in one shot. I probably just got lucky. Apparently the Whisperer is the hardest one. I'm not looking forward to that when it happens. Challenge stop. Whisperer final phase is cracked. Oh boy. Let's get this cell open. Oh god. Oh god. No, I thought I could skip the dialogue, but it was just bait. <laughs> The reason I'm in such a rush, Dino, is because my membership's out. <laughs> if, I, if I log out for any reason, 
I'm done with RuneScape for a few days. I'm gonna go play Liza P. Oh, hey, I got my stuff. Oh no, my rations. Should probably scroll ahead a little bit. Am I fighting somebody soon? Talk to the assassin, get a full inventory of food, return to the refugee camp in the southeastern room, light the firecrackers. Once you do, you'll need to survive Jalen attacking you for three minutes? Survive Jalen's attacks for three minutes. Protect from mage, keep your health high, and avoid the shadow attacks. Talk to the assassin after the fight. Why did I come with melee gear if I'm just surviving a fight? Why didn't I come with, like, dehyde? What the hell? Quest helper, you're drunk. Survive for three minutes, protect from mage, keep health high, avoid shadow attacks. Quest unhelper. So true. You distract him, I'll take him unawares. Wow, so cool. In here, damn heavy melee armor with probably like negative 100 mage defense. Ah, plus 22. Could be worse. Apparently Barrows is a lot better than Dragon Plate Body. Not Barrows. Bandos. I'm already set to protect from mage, aren't I? Yep, light him. I leveled up my firecracker skill. <laughs> I've been frozen. Kite you around the room. Or can. Whoa, he's cheating. <laughs> what the hell? Shadow clone jutsu. What the hell? Was really just in an ice block. Jalen isn't having a good day. Go down the stairs in the far northeast of the prison. Be prepared for fighting the boss of the area. Requirements. Melee combat gear, food as much as you can bring, and a prayer pot. Well, this is not as much as I can bring. I guess I'll restock. Also, my stats are drained, apparently. Mm-hmm. 
I committed one stamina pot, one prayer pot, and as much food as I can bring. Okay. A single stem pot. Melee combat gear. So I've got that. Defeat the Duke. You must first wake him. Imagine a Bando spec wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. as well keep a free inventory or two as well. Okay. Good intel. Although when I use this it will give me one inventory space. So give me one of those mantas back. Manta. Why did I grab that? Why didn't I just send that to the bank? I'm drunk. Alright, Tally home, go to Vice. May as well prep for my Bando spec. Where the hell am I going? There's a shortcut right there, go away, go back. No smart man. What if he's a super combat? Too late now. See how this run goes. Bring any extra home tellies, so. God, the extra 20 in all stats, though. Alright. Home telly. Oh, what a mess. I need to have an emergency teleport out anyway, so that was a mistake in the first place. Dump two mantas, grab home tele tabs, and super combat. There we go. Now we're gaming. Try this again. I've still got this boss fight and the Whisperer on top of whatever the hell else this quest has. Where is this guy in full graceful with a pickaxe going? What is he doing? He's a man on a mission. Oh, he's in here mining this stuff. Right, 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 right. has expired. We'll never recover from this. Alright, well, I'm in this little room. Let me read the mechanics. Defeat the Duke. You must first wake him with two Ardor Muska poison. Make sure to avoid any of the environmental effects, such as gas, lightning, and the Extremitus Vision. What the hell is an Extremitus Vision? 
Make the poison. Get three ardor mushrooms from the northeastern corner and three muska from the northwestern corner. Grab the pestle and mortar from the shelves west of the entrance and a pickaxe from the... I'm going to need so much inventory space. What the hell? Use a pestle and mortar on the mushrooms and then mine 12 salt from the salt deposits. The ground mushrooms and salts, add them to the fermentation vats near the entrance. Empty them for two poisons. Use both poisons on the boss to start the fight. Stay close to him where possible and protect from melee. You'll use the following attacks. Blue orb, magic attack. Spikes, the duke hits the floor, causing spikes to appear. Avoid the spikes. Gas vent, the duke activates some of the gas vents. Stay away from it. Duke's gaze, the duke opens his eye to deal massive damage. Hide behind a pillar to avoid this. Okay. Whatever you say, boss. Which way am I fucking going? <laughs> Go down the star stairs in the far northeast. Whatever you say. Oh, there he is. Back from melee. You said I'm going to need two inventory spaces. I don't know how that's possible, but you haven't steered me wrong yet. How the hell did I end up with so many extra car bombs? <laughs> what the hell? Might as well update my inventory setup guy. Bring the same stuff next time if I fail this one. Uh, enter the boss area before entering. You can also preview the boss's attacks by right-clicking it from outside. Oh! That was a poison attack. That was a stair attack. That was a melee attack. That was a magic attack. I got no fucking clue what I'm doing, but I guess when I go inside, I'm just going to drop some Karambums to have inventory space. Don't need to? The quest helper had, like, me doing, like, 20 different things in my inventory. How am I going to get by with three slots? It's wrong? Okay. Guide my hips then, big boy. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Two inventory slots. On either air staircase at the end, you need some mushrooms. I got 30 minutes to pick those up. I think I'll be alright. Grab it and grind your mushrooms, okay? Ah, they stack. Let's go. Add them to the barrel. Does it matter which one? I mean, I guess it 
Guess I'll find out. If I add them to oh both barrels, okay. And can I now destroy this? Too bad. Too bad if I can't, because I did. So grab a pickaxe from the wall. So I'm gonna pick my crumbs up now. Uh, you drop the barrel. Add mushrooms to the barrel, then grab then grab the rocks. For the salt deposit, I guess. He seems to be asleep. Got no idea how much salt I need. Oh my god. Watch out, it's Duke Succulus. He's gonna suck you. I'm gonna get sucked. Live I'll on the stream. Him. Hey Sean, how you doing? Twelve salt is all I need? Well I've got more than twelve. I'm doing the hardest quest in the whole game right now. Well, mining while a giant frog watches you. Basically. Let me read here. With the ground mushrooms and salts, add them to the fermentation vats near the entrance. Empty them for two poisons. Classic blunder, the boss putting the thing that kills him in the same room as him. Shaking my head, my head. Make sure you grind up the mushrooms. I ground them up. Chicken salt is no longer needed. All right. Got me two little poisons now. Arter Muska poison. Use both poisons on the boss to start the fight. Stay close to him where possible and protect from melee. Blue orb is a magic attack. Spikes hit the floor, causing spikes to appear. Avoid the spikes. Gas fin. He will activate the gas fins. Keep away from them. Duke's gaze. The Duke opens his eye to deal massive damage. Hide behind a pillar to avoid this. All right. Guess I run up here to Mr. Duke. So take a little stammy sip. Since so I've got the prey pot, may as well do piety. Get a spec. Combat potion. Drop the vial. Oh god, the gas! Off to a great start. Spec. Oh, poisons. Whoops. Be the spikes, I suppose. Off to a bad start. Off to a terrible start. I am not so good at dodging these spikes. Oh god! Run behind the pillar! Didn't quite make it. Let's heal up. Let's heal up more than that. This is going very, very poorly. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit again. <laughs> Te teleport me out, I'm not winning this. Get me out of here. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, that could 
have gone better. <laughs> Dino, the whole thing is I don't look up guides unless I get stuck on something for hours. I don't mind people in chat giving me tips and tricks, but I, I do not look up guide after one failed attempt. Holy shit. Let's try this again. What was my loadout? Pull up my inventory setup screen. Prayer pot, stamina pot. It's a little easier if you attack, then walk back behind a pillar and repeat. That explains why you don't like bo Don't get don't get cheeky, Dino. I look up guides after I've done the content to figure out ideal ways to do it. But the first time I'm doing content, I don't just immediately pull up a YouTube guide for the whole quest. That's something Sean would do. Let's see, I went in there with a single sip caught super combat. I'm gonna make some more of those. So what are you up to, Sean? How'd your day go? Uh, normal Sunday, I suppose. Busy at work or slow? Both. Busy and then slow? Yeah. Lunch rush, I guess. Yeah, basically. <clears throat> really be done with the quest in three hours, so I'd have more time to actually play the game. Brother, th this is the game. This is the game right now. I'm playing the game currently. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. This this is RuneScape. <laughs> this is the quest in old school RuneScape. This is this is Desert Treasure 2 in old school RuneScape. I am currently playing it. This is peak gaming, as Obaneo says over on Twitch. This is the this is the peak of content, according to Jagex. This is the hardest quest they've ever made. It doesn't get better than this. Apparently. Having said that, I've hated this quest the whole time I'm doing it. That doesn't mean I'm going to look up a guide, my first attempt on a boss. Come on. I'm already using Quest Helper. Like, if I could look up a YouTube account and have the account maxed next month, that'd be one thing. But it's going to be a grind no matter what I do. I may as well interact with the content in such a way that the content exists. <laughs> so they're just blowing through it with a YouTube guide. <laughs> I die like three or four more times to him. Or don't, you know, get the kill three or four more times. I'll probably look up a guide, but we're not at that point yet. We're simply not there yet. All right, let's try this again. Do, 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 do. Hassle me. best start. That might be a hard reset. Yep, I say it is. My carambulance! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> My cabbages. Hey Cummins, how you doing? <laughs> oh no. That certainly could have gone better. Grab some more house tellies. God knows we're gonna need them. 
It would be peak comedy if I get stuck on the easiest boss for the longest period of time. I'll take my time with the setup phase. It went fine the first time. Maybe my carambums will still be there. They do have a 30 minute drop timer. Surely it won't be an instanced area and just delete my carambums from existence. <laughs> My problems. <laughs> Take the time to not get hit. Turns out those things can hit me for a 53. Okay, so this one just went, so I should be safe right over here. Okay, that one just went. That was risky. This is risky too! Oh, going to risk that. <laughs> okay, so you just went. You just went. Grab the mushrooms. Grind the mushrooms. You just went. I don't know when you went. I'm going to risk it anyway, though. Yep. Out of here. It's just that easy. Drop this. Grab this. Add this. Add this. Pick up the crumbles. Find some salt. I don't remember if it was 12 or 24 salt I needed, so I'll just go to 24. It is 12? Okay. Went to 24 anyway. Can I click fill? I can click fill. Based. And herbal or XP. Drop. Drop. Collect. Collect. Okay. So you said a safer strategy is to do a single hit and then run behind a pillar. Which pillar do I run behind? Like over here? Like that tile? Is that where I should do a single hit and then run there? Is that what you would recommend? I'm getting chunked up by those northeast of that tile. So here. So in that case, there or there, depending on where the gas is at. Right, I've got all my carambums, I've got all my sippy dippies. God, shift click doesn't work on that. I'll hide here and here. Color tile, pick. This is this is blue because it's safe. Color tile blue. 
I need to run between the two because he spawns more gas at lower HPs. So when I'm fighting him, if I'm standing right here, is the only attack that can hit me the magic attack? Yes. Okay. If I pray magic, does that negate that attack? No idea. Okay. Uh, let's give it another shot. I'll wait for the next poison to come out. See where it ends up at. Go ahead and pre pre spec. All right. Combat potion drop. Poison click. All right. That's really bad. Run behind the pillar and heal up a little bit. From behind the pillar. Let's go. God, I cannot. Did I end up in a bad ping world or something? Please run. Do I have auto retaliate on? No, I don't. My guy will not avoid that. No matter what I do. God damn it, right as he spawns it. Oh my god. This is actually going to be the hardest fight for me. Straight up. I cannot figure out the mechanics. I'm doing almost no damage to him. And I'm out halfway out of stuff from my inventory. I'm straight up struggling with Sussel, Sussel, Sussel. No, I've never done COX. I've never done Cox. Get a dragon worm out. <laughs> Yeah, let me just drop, drop 60 mil real quick. Alright, what's my loadout? The combat sippy. Need a new stamina pot. Need a new prayer pot. Got two home telly tabs. Might as well bring a couple extras of those. How much is a dragon warhammer right now? Dragon? Wah. 30 mil. Yeah, that's not happening. Have you done Hallowed Sepulcher? I have done Hallowed Sepulcher. I can do floors one through four without much issue. It genuinely feels like I'm on a laggy world when I click off. I am on a laggy world. For some reason, it put me back on 422. I've got 90 ping instead of 16, and I can't log out. No, it's 30 mil, Cummins. It used to be 60 mil. Back when it was new. It is 30 mil right now on the GE. What's my loadout? Manta, Manta. Manta. Airborne. Anglerfish. I'll go with that. All right. You'll get it down. It's just move. Yeah, I'm just kind of... I'm in a rough spot right now because I got 90 ping because when I re-logged earlier to reset my login timer, it put me on the world I was on when I first started the game today, which is a Temporos world that I have 90 ping to instead of my regular world where I have like 15 ping. I've got to preempt all my actions or something. I'm not even sure. I'm going to have to do the whisperer like that. Looking forward to that. At least there's no enemies on the run back here, unlike the Vardorvis guy or whatever he's called.
I have three hours to kill this boss and Whisperer and finish the mission before I lose my account membership status. Let's see if I can do it. You just gotta let st stop letting Duke suck you off. I can't. I can't, man. He's too cute. Speaking of suck me off, I just hydrate a little bit. Much better. How do you stop? Have you seen his mouth? So true. I believe I did Leviathan first try with this ping. Also think the pings is just getting worse as the day gets later. More people hop on. fail this time, I may look up a guide just to get full idea of the mechanics. You weren't an ass, Dino. You're just doing the thing most people do. I realize I play this game differently from most people by not just looking up guides for all the content in the game. I do look up guides occasionally, just not for quests usually. Quest helpers usually more than enough. Between quest helper and the tips I get in my chat, like, Got the guard for the mace. Congrats, physics. I may have dropped my pestle a little too early. Oh god, I knew that was going to hit me. Let me screen share you a kill. That's okay, man. I'll get it this time. I won't even need a screen share. 76 KC to get the guard. That's pretty lucky. I know you're ready. I'm not ready. sit up front too long because of the gas and walk left and right. Okay. Stay close to pillars on the side. Flinch him on the off ticks, he doesn't attack. Brother, I'm not gonna be able to flinch this guy with 90 ping. <laughs> That's just not gonna happen. You're two tiles away, he mages you for fat damage. Cummins says, if I knew you had membership tomorrow, I'd let you use my fang and hammer. Yeah, I'm not going to have membership. I'm not going to have membership in three hours. <laughs> Exclamation point kick. Uh, the kick is just linked under the stream. There's no nightbot command for it. Stay on green tiles as much as you can. Okay. I'm going to change my left click on this so that I don't accidentally click it.
Good luck, good luck. Thank you, Dino. Thank you. Drinky. Eaty. Gray. Damn poison. Ah, run to the side. It's just that easy. It's the easiest fight in the whole game. No one's ever failed killing Duke before, especially not me. Max combat, no, but pretty pretty solid combat stats. 96 HP, 99 strength, 95 attack, 90 defense. Smash at that. Well, I forget who said it. Someone said something about Hallowed Sepulchre, so I started thinking about how you, like, skip tiles in there. So I was like, what if I just... What if I literally just click on him and then click away and click on him and click away and click on him and click away and don't actually pay attention to what he's doing? And that kind of worked. Anyway, what am I doing now? Enter the room southwest of the Duke. Okay, good thing I didn't just teleport out. Do something while it's dead in here. Never mind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Maybe I can go back. Hold up. I have no reason to go back. It's so over. going to have you mark two tiles. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, it'll probably be a long time before I do any more bosses. Though, having that fight go that well when I just figured that little strat out, maybe that would be the one boss I would start trying to learn if I ever come here and try that out. Anyway, what am I doing? Back to Quest Helper. Let's scroll ahead a little bit. Am I fighting anybody else? Talk to the assassin, open the chest, return to the vault, use the medallion. Alright, I'm not fighting anybody else. Curious. You know the eyes that shoot lasers? I do know those. Alright, I've got the medallion. Return to the vault door, northeast of Narda. Be wary of an assassin coming to kill you. They can run, freeze, and teleblock you. If you start running the tile before the middle of the eyeball, you can run all the way through without getting layered. Just gotta watch the falling rocks. Once you get used to that, you can save so much time prepping. Oh, you mean using the skip tile. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't even think about doing that. Someone was telling me when I was doing how it's a poker like it. Oh! <laughs> There's an assassin in my house. Files. Files, call the guard! Files! I'd like to report a domestic disturbance. Alright, send me to Edgeville. Holy shit. <laughs> this is my home.
Give me my drum and stuff. That's all I need for right now. It's his home now. He can have it. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that bastard right now. The music stays a bit? Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> Gave me some panic when I teleported to Edgeville and the music was still going. Music's gone. Oh, what a chad. He's out here killing dingoes. Or jackals. I forget which they are. They're jackals. Of course they're jackals. This is obviously Egypt. To the Whisperer. Oh god, the Whisperer section is so long. Watch out on the next one you get, because you don't think you can escape him one of the times. Oh shit. Whisperer puzzle is ball sack. Great. Sandwiches. That's not baguette. And pie. Enter Camdazal west of Ice Mountain. Requirements Ring of Visibility and a Mine Altar or Yasar Teleport. Oh, that's optional. Ring of Visibility and food. Bring magic combat gear. Stop with the assassin music. Lassar well, Telly is OP for this. Ah well. Wait, where's the mate? Where's the bank at? Here's the bank. Laws and water, huh? Okay. and water. All you ever want is square sandwiches from that lady? What the hell? He doesn't want the stale baguette? Bring mage combat gear, a ring of visibility, and food. Not equip the staff, for I will... Teleport out of here very quickly. Your name in game is Square Sandwich? Ah, makes sense then. Need a shield. Need a prayer item and need gloves. Shield. What shield do I use? The Book of Def Book of Darkness. That's probably it. Bring a prayer pot and four staminas. Okay. All right, and bring food. Well, if there's a big fight, I'll just restock before the big fight. So just give me sharks. Show me spells I lack the runes to cast. Lessar. Boom. Mm -hmm. 
He's the only way to get square sandwiches in the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am running to the altar to restore my prayer. So I can't go to my house because there's a lady in there. And women scare me. No, don't smack the monk. He's done nothing to you. You think the monk, the assassin's gone once I give the thing to the pyramid? I could definitely check that once I get into Kamnazal. So I've killed enough of these guys, I can untag them now. My weight like 24 kg. Damn those sharks thick. Oh, there's a little agility shortcut there. Good to know. Look, Physic, look. And where you're at. Wow. Just Can't use the shortcut until after you kill Whisperer, I think. I'm not sure. Oh. Good to know. Just gonna power fish for the last part. Yep. You've already got the one for mining and you've got the one from the golems, so. Tie mm -hmm. the rope to the rock. Very long rope. How does this go down to the shrieking cavern hole? It must. Fuck the cooking and prayer XP. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, you mean just drop the fish instead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Physics, don't look. I attach the rope. I will descend. Strange voice did it thing. According to the wiki, that used to be rare. I don't know if it's rare anymore or if it always does it there. You have a new music track, Fallen Empire. I don't think I do. I think I have a worthy foe. Where's the Fallen Empire? Do I know my alphabet? Clearly not. I actually don't know my alphabet. Am I blind? Search. Fallen. Must have been under F. Well, if it's playing, I don't hear it. <laughs> Activate teleporter. Oh, no. Um, there's this video, which is like a documentary on Boogie. Ooh, Boogie 2988? Like, yeah, and it's like the dark, sad life. I've watched two and a half minutes. I've stopped watching. <laughs> um, the dark, sad life of Boogie 2988. And he just starts off saying about how in 2019 he had three quarters of a million dollars, and now he's, he's basically facing bankruptcy yeah. and foreclosure. Well, didn't he like and go? Super, like, the only thing I remember from him recently is didn't he go like super hard into crypto and it, like he yeah. ran out of money because crypto crashed. Yeah, he starts off by saying, "I don't know what I'm doing with my money. My wife did that, and then we got divorced. Money comes in and money goes out. I don't know." And I'm sitting there like, "This doesn't sound very. <laughs> this is not a good start. responsible. <laughs> <laughs> like, no wonder he's got money troubles. And then he's like, all I did was like." put it all into crypto and lose a bunch and it shows like 750 grand and then minus 600,000 in crypto <laughs> and he's like here's all my money and he shows his bank account and he's got like $2,700 and yeah. he's like my mortgage is going to come out so that's 2000 so I'll just have $700 to live off until YouTube pays me and I'm like man you did this to yourself true should have bought a so rental property 
I mean, yeah, but what's also annoying is he's he's got like such a woe is me, I'm the victim mentality that it's just unbearable. Like you've got no sympathy for him anymore because he's like, it's not my fault, it's everyone else's sort of, I don't even care anymore. Sex with Buki is why I quit being a prostitute. <laughs> What's going on? By the way, if you're watching the stream on Twitch and would like to join the Discord, you can do so linked under the stream. And if you would like to join the Discord and join the call and give me tips and tricks on Desert Treasure 2, feel free to do so. Uh -oh. Spooky water. Up to Ketla. That's Ketla. Must be a Camdazal dwarf. What is weird? I'm playing. Halo, and it's very weird because you're having fun. It's like every match I'm playing, it's it's like I've got 300 ping or something. All the other players are like moving and then rubber banding and stuff like that. Yeah, not me. Everyone else. That's weird. And I've turned on network statistics, and it says I've got 25 to 26 ping. So I'm I'm good, and yet it's so laggy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering, I'm like, is my VPN turned on? I'm like, no, no. Just, I don't know, weird. What is that VPN for, Sean? Pirating what? content on the internet? No, I like my privacy. Oh. Having Liz Truss look at me. I don't want that on my soul. <laughs> The fuck? What the hell? I'm going insane? Unlock the doors. We got the handle. Hey, you got the whole thing then. You just need fifteen hundred shards, and you can ask the dwarf guy to assemble it for you. Then you will have the best in-slot crush weapon in free to play. And a basic torch schematic to Ketla in the Western Residential District teleport. Oh, true. Don't know where the closest teleporter is. Ah, oh, there's one back there. Oh well, it's over. This one. Easy game, easy life. Uh, I need to go to the Western Residential District. I need to talk to Ketla. Yes? I have a schematic. I have two hours and 43 minutes to complete this quest, or I will lose membership and have to wait until I pop my next bond to do it. Isn't that scary, Sean? What? The puddle southeast of Ketla. Let me turn your volume up, man. You're so quiet for me. Yeah? I'm just cool. I can't hear you over here, though. I'll put you up to 200%. Let's go. I'm so loud now. Yeah, now you're like normal volume. Okay. I don't know. This is going poorly. Oh shit, I just take damage. 
wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I was not expecting to just start dying. I have a schematic here. I need an assault rifle kill, and I'm not getting it. Damn. Getting lots of assists. Activate the teleporter in the far east of the residential area through the building you unlocked for the idol. Okay. Oh, well, I got a stick kill. That's all right. Someone dashed past me in a ghost, and I got him right on the face with a stick grenade. You're a gamer, Sean. Yeah, at least I've got that on point. Activate the teleporter. Bring the following items. Magic combat gear, ring of visibility, food, prayer pot, four staminas, teleport. Oh, it's still the same step. It just reshuffled itself for some reason. Place the idol by the teleporter. Okay. Pick up the revitalizing idol. Oh, that teleporter. Why did you draw me a line over here then? <laughs> to the puddle. Run around through the building and up north, making sure to restore sanity at the idol. I have run out of stamina. How many fucking assault rifle kills that I need? Oh god, I think it's five. Well, I got one. Open the fucking door! What was that click box? Are you shitting me? Oh, you were you were going ham on those keys right now. I'm a what? You're going ham on those keys right now. Am I? Yeah. Uh, well, just you know, change your noise gate. Not my noise gate. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 just, just set my volume lower. What's up? Why are the door click boxes under the doors? Hello? Use the black stone fragment to recall all your devices. Yeah, nice. that's. I don't know. Do something. Must not be able to hear it, Sean. Uh, well, that's my keyboard. That's me pressing my keyboard constantly. Let's go. He fixed it. So I'll set my noise gate slightly higher. I didn't even change anything. Damn. Man, this must have been incredibly annoying when the get. Sure, first isn't first your came own out. keyboard? I'm positive, Sean. I almost never hit my keyboard when I'm playing RuneScape. It's all clicks. Uh, I'm level 10 out of like 500. I think I'm going to give up. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> There's so many hundred level battle passes to complete. Yeah, there are. I mean, I mean it's alright, but I, I don't find Halo that fun. Thing is, you can't really grind it out. You have to, like, do your dailies. And once you've done all of your dailies, you just have to, like, do one game a day. And then nothing more than that. Mm-hmm. Where am I going? Grab the shadow key in the room you've just unlocked. Why is it sending me over here, then? What? 
Bring the superior shadow torch schematic to Catla. Okay, it finally figured out what step I was on. Jesus Christ. Yes, I have a schematic. Requires one free inventory slot. Get the superior shadow torch from the workbench. Enter the puddle outside of the building with the furnaces in it in the science district. the nearest teleporter? Right here. Bring the anima portal schematic to Ketla, next to the western residential district teleport. What about you all on stream? Am I quiet to you guys, or was it just Sean, because he's playing a loud game? To the puddle on the plaza. Oh man, I'm giving up. I can't do this. I just joined another random match. I've set my network settings to local, so it's not even searching far. Yeah. I'm just like, everyone's rubber banding. Oh no. I see someone running like left to right, and then they start to go backwards, and then they run right, and then they start to go forwards, and then backwards again. And I, I can't hit them. I'm just like, now. Nah, I'm gonna go play something else. Oh, bunny Yo broke. says I sound fine. Well, if you wait about three hours, we can do Valheim. <laughs> Imagine you'll be asleep by then, though. Tomorrow. I got all day off tomorrow. Okay. I think I have. Either that or I've written my roads down wrong. Let me just double check, because I don't normally... I've had a lot of days off this week, surprisingly. Or I've had all my normal days off, but all, like, closer together rather than spread out. Where am I going? Return to the palace in the northwest and place the shadow blocker near the chest there. What? Okay. Have I got a shadow blocker? I don't think I have a shadow blocker. What is a shadow blocker? I have a revitalizing idol and an anima portal. Break tentacles in front of the building in the south plaza. Activate the blackstone fragment to leave, then get the shadow. Oh, I'm off. Weird. Just recall it to you via the, via the Blackstone? Okay. Call? Yes. Ah! Forgot I even had that laying down. God. Another... Just randomly clip somewhere else in this... This, this video about Boogie is like an hour long, right? So I'm like, oh, look, maybe it gets better. And I just randomly click and it's him sitting on a computer showing him a, like a website of all these women's images. And it, it's like Tinder or something. And it, it, it's prostitutes. He's browsing for prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> it talks about how he deserves to go to Times Square in New York with a beautiful girl. And he's like, it's like window shopping. It's like any other meat factory or something. And I'm like, oh man, you're losing me. <laughs> Run. I have no idea why it had me put magic gear on for this and not just graceful. I seem to be doing a whole lot of running and absolutely zero fighting. Open chest. On a schematic inside. 
Wee. Shit, I got too greedy. Ugh. Delve too greedily and too deep? No, I was fighting two people. Yeah, I've, I've switched over to Chivalry now, oh. which has somehow a better networking infrastructure than Halo does. And well, I was fighting two people. Play, so. Yeah, it's free to play. I just <laughs> It doesn't normally do that. Where, <laughs> like, I, I've I checked my ping. I'm definitely low ping. It's just everyone else is rubber banding. I, I stopping me from playing. Anyway, fighting two for one, and I downed one, and I'm trying to kill him before the other guy kills me, and I just got too greedy and just stopped blocking and just started going for hits, and then I got downed without taking any of them out. Something I really like the one-handed mace in this game. There's something very satisfying about swinging this thing fully charged and hitting someone in the head. What the hell? It's violent. Are you ready? I think so. I sure don't think I am ready. Where am I going? Activate the blackstone. Okay. Okay. Beyonce, are you ready for this? Oh, southeast of Ketlo, once What's a phase? Are you ready for this? What's her face? Like, what the hell? I don't know the names of the people in that band. <laughs> I know one. I'm pretty sure there's a song as well. I, it might be that song where Beyonce says her own name twice. Beyonce. <laughs> Instead of someone else's. Um. The darkness of the Shadow Realm begins to consume my mind, Sean. It's very Cthulian. It is, isn't RuneScape. it? I am playing RuneScape. They've lost the plot. The Shadow Realm from Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, they don't know what they're doing anymore. I have it on good authority, though, that the... Uh... Wait, I'm supposed to leave? I'm actually just not supposed to come back here and get anything? Okay. Get the shadow Remember reading from the house you were just in. Okay. Remember reading the uh, Shadow Realm in Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh -huh. Didn't exist in the original. It was an invention in the American dub, because the producers like were like, oh, you know. Basically, in the original, they didn't go to the Shadow Realm. They just died. <laughs> and the producers were like, we can't have this in a kids show, so they invented the Shadow Realm. <laughs> That's nice of them. I recall my devices. We'll place the shadow blocker. I will return to Satan world. Yeah, finger pointing exists and you go to replace guns. Even as a kid, I noticed that. I was like, what the hell? Those are obviously, they're supposed to be holding guns, obviously. Gun shaped hand. Yeah. You unlock the chest and find part Points of the Points his finger at like icon. three different people and two of them fall on the floor. <laughs> Bleeding. <laughs> I'm trying to recall like Kaiba was in Pegasus's castle and two guards were just pointing their fingers at him. Oh no, my stamina, it's broken. I definitely should have used a teleporter here. Holy shit. There's still time. I'm your teleporter. What? No options. What the hell? I sure hope this becomes an area after the quest, because if they made this whole giant stupid location and there's not even anything here after the quest, then holy shit. Destroy the tentacle.
Blackstone Fragment. Bind the Icon Halves. Alright. You love that ghosts can't go through walls? Yeah, me too. Just shut a door in their face and they're powerless. Enter the drain in the middle of the residential district. What if I don't want to enter the drain in the middle of the residential district? That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh god, misclick. Oh, my stamina potion. My dailies have reset. They've reset an hour early. Did you guys just get daylight, day, daylight savings time in the UK or something? Tom? What? Did you guys just get daylight savings in the UK or something? No. Did we get it here? No, they must be tuned with America because yours is happening now. Ours happened like... Oh. It is daylight savings. Ours happened like two and a half, three weeks ago. Interesting. Alexa, when's daylight savings time? In Georgia, daylight saving time started on March 12, 2023 at 2 a.m. and will end on November 5, 2023 uh, at 2 a.m. That's also, today. I can tell you the fun holiday of the Georgia God knows why America and on. Britain have like different daylight saving day? times, but no. whatever. No problem. I can't believe she docks me by saying I live in Georgia. Oh no, there's clones of me. Oh no. Is there a fight here? Talk to yourself. Talk to Ketla. Get the perfect shadow. Enter the puddle. Destroy the tentacles. Activate the blackstone. Gear up. Okay. It's a while until I actually have to do a fight. Oh no. Oh god. This looks like a fight. <laughs> it's me. It's so many me's. Ah, it's Ketla. Ketla jump scare. Oh, it's just so many points for healing people in this game. You're up for the boss like, fight. Oh, God. How goes the grind? Brother, I'm grinding. I'm on the final boss of Desert Treasure 2. I've got two and a half hours before logging out will make me lose membership. We're on a time schedule here. Activate the Blackstone. Gear up and then disturb the odd figure in the cathedral. The Whisperer will attack with magic and ranged attacks and use a homing tentacle attack after each one. Protect appropriately and move to avoid the tentacle splashes. This sucks. <laughs> At one third health, she will cast a special attack. Soul Siphon. Activate the Blackstone Fragment in your inventories. Twelve souls spawn. Dead Show them stuff. to avoid the Whisperer dealing a massive hit. Thank you for following Bahamut TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Corrupted Seeds, activate the Blackstone Fragment in your inventory, avoid the dark green seeds, and step on the light green ones. Screech, pillars appear, which you must hide behind to avoid damage. After each special attack, the Whisperer fires out a binding spell if you are within ten tiles of her, dealing melee damage. When she hits zero health, she will heal back to 140 and start attacking rapidly with random ranged and magic attacks. Finish her off. Oh god. So that Duke Chocolus wasn't the end of the quest? No, that wasn't even the first boss I've had to fight on this quest. That's the third boss I've fought on this quest. Blood spells heal me, right? If I, if I cast Blood Blitz, I'll heal off the attacks. Better question. Am I supposed to be on Mage to fight Whisperer? That's a better question. That's a great question. I gotta pee. I'll be back in a second.
Yeah, I didn't mind Dragon Slayer 2 too much. I wiped twice on Galvec. I forget which mechanic it was I couldn't get a hold of, but Galvec wiped me twice, but I did Vorkath with no problem. And then, like two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, I did Vorkath until I got 50 KC and unlocked the, uh, got the guaranteed head drop so I could make the assembler. All right, what am I doing here? I'm going to go, where am I going to go? Where am I? Where am I? I just love walking into a crowd with an axe and just doing constant heavy swings, but attacking a different person every time, so no one knows who to hit me. I am getting like four kills before I got taken down. Any point redemption? You walk back into that same crowd and put a little horn down. Let's go. Alright. Yeah, Quest Helper is not giving me any pro tips on this fight. Man, they made a. Really big purple area, just, just full of nothing. Well, this area is actually full of a lot of stuff. The area I was just oh. in is very empty, though. I'm hoping, it, hoping, it hoping it becomes not empty after the quest, but as of right now, it's very empty. Gear up, then disturb the odd figure in the cathedral. The Whisperer will attack with magic and ranged attacks and use a homing tentacle attack after each one. Protect appropriately and move to avoid the tentacle splashes. Hmm. At one third health, she will cast a special. Start attacking rapidly with ranged magic attacks. Finish her off. The only thing mentioned in the boss fight mechanics was this thing. Or if she does soul siphon. Okay. I've already got my best in slot mage equipped. So I don't need to worry about that. I do need to worry about what to actually bring. Straight up does not give me any advice on what to bring. So I guess. Would starting the fight with a bando spec work? Or does she com is she completely immune to Melee. Anyone know? You don't know, you just sent Mage with Trident of the Swamp. I'm going to try having auto cast Bloods as my strat, because that's what I did for Saren. I imagine Whisperer is stronger than Saren, but it worked out for Saren. I was going to go Blood Blitz the whole fight, and just Deaths and Bloods the whole time. I need this. I need the ring of visibility for this fight, or can I bank it? I'm sure, if I'd actually been reading the quest, I would know what I actually need the ring of visibility for. I have no idea if I actually need it for the fight, though. With two prayers, one stam. Oh, there's no way I survive long enough to need two prayers. Well, mage with trident of the swamp, huh? I don't have trident of the swamp. I've got trident of the seas. Definitely gonna go for ancients. It's my first attempt, though. 
all, all. Bloods and deaths, right? Don't know why I ended up with 10 of those. Twice as many bloods as deaths. Okay. You know, I don't actually know the death mechanics of the rune pouch. I don't want to risk it on this fight. Rather expensive. I'll just lose an inventory slot. That'll be fine. I'll dump the ring of visibility. I'll go in with this. Okay. Gear up. Da -da 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 -da. One third health. Okay, so I just need. I have a mage potion. I do. I have a magic potion. I have a battle mage potion. That's a thing, right? Battle. I do not have a battle mage potion. So I just need to bring mage and super defense. And I may as well decant this into a one dose. Ooh. Ooh. Da -da -da. All right. Manta, manta, manta. Cook, 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 cook. Manta, 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 manta. Cook, 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 cook. Manta, cook, manta, cook. All right, I guess that's the inventory. Let's save the loadout. Let's give it a shot. I think I'm going to try, if she's attacking with ranged and melee, or ranged and magic, I'm going to attempt to just do protect from missiles and mystic might, not worry about flicking, and see how the damage is like. If the damage is nightmarish, then I'll go off that strat. For right now, I'm going to try this. Food as much as you can bring, a prayer pot, and blackstone fragment. Okay. It doesn't even recommend the stamina pot. So if I were to come back here, I may not bring the stamina pot. Where am I going? I'm going over here. Okay. Magic pot, super defense. Wait, why am I searching? What? I needed the torch? God damn it. Give me the torch. And I'm not doing the fight, apparently. Enter the puddle for the final time. Okay. Oh. Roy tentacles. Water guy, dot dot dot. It's me, I'm water guy. Sure this is right, ranged mystic might. Frame rate? Oh no. Oh no, it's the whisperer. My stamina pot. The sanity mechanic in here? Oh god. Alright. Stamina me. Mage me. Oh, should have brought a angler fish. Oh god! Set up quick prayers. Or quick mage. There we go. Jesus. And just put auto retaliate on. Fuck it. All right. That was a lot of damage. 
<laughs> oh. You know that, um, level of chivalry where the first objective is like capturing pigs and peasants and loading them onto a boat? I think so. Um, I'm doing the capturing. So, I launched off my boat right at the beginning, went very far into enemy territory very early, captured a peasant, running to the boat. There's only one enemy in front of me, and I'm like, oh no, I've got to somehow figure out how to get around this enemy. Um, but he's on like, he's running towards me, there's a big tree in front of us, and I went left, he goes left, and I just dipped and went the other way. <laughs> just. It's just like the dumbest tactic. Go left and then suddenly go right, and he just fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. Oh, now they're actually doing the strat of defending the boat. Can't capture pigs if I can't actually get to the boat to capture the pigs. Oh. Could have gone better. I don't know why we're capturing pigs and men. No women, just the men. You got no answers for your thing. Oh no, you're back to full health again. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna die. Yeah, that happens a lot. Or dying. Looking like you're gonna die. I think I've been hit by a tentacle attack a single time. What is happening? What is happening? Alright, cool. Alright, cool, it's getting worse. Oh god! Eat through it. Oh, he just swung his axe and oh, I'm dead. through the wall. <laughs> I don't know what that was! Holy! I don't know what the fuck that attack was. Hello? She whisper at you right in your ear. I guess she whispered at me. You lost sanity at the end, is what you. happened. Oh, I died to the sanity loss. Oh, okay, fair enough. When I say fair enough, it's probably bullshit, but fair enough. Let's see, what is this? How does he just swing that fucking axe so fast? There? It's a giant, two heavy laws, axe. It swings waters. faster than mine. Two laws and four waters. Zip. See if I can climb these rocks. Let's go. I might want to actually look at her attacks with that quest helper plugin thing before I fight her again. That might be an idea. Massively feels like my team's outnumbered. We're doing terrible. You got two minutes left. Not outnumbered. Just every time you go to the boat, you're fighting like 10 or 11 people. And there's only like two of you. That was a solid first attempt. Thanks. I did it myself. I should have probably grabbed a stamina pot. I don't know if I'm going to have enough stamina to get down there. Wah, 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 wah. Where is my grave? Oh, yeah, the teleporters. That'd be good. Where's my grave? Where is my mom? Gravestone contains that the world map will show its location if the area has a map. You have 13 minutes until it disappears. Where is my grave? 
I don't want to fight the Whisperer again. Where is my grave? At the top next to the long rope? Oh, okay. Really should be using these teleporters. Oh god, 43 seconds to capture one thing. Come on, team. Give me that peasant boy. Got him, I saved the day. That was me. I did that all alone. Screw my team. Well, I'm pretty hard on the leaderboard, to be fair. All right, let's go. Sippy? Yeah, I didn't have nearly enough food left over at the end there to make it through the next phase, but I think I got her I think I got her two thirds dead and then she rest restores with 140 HP, so I actually wasn't even close at all. But the fight lasted a while. At least I had that going for me. <laughs> ah. Alright, let's look at my loadout. Equip, 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 equip. Everything's equipped. Spell is Blood Blitz. Okay. I think if I am going to succeed that fight, I'm going to wind up needing more than one prayer pot. So, may as well bring two prayer pots. Bring a stamina. I need another sip of super defense. I need another sip of magic potion. Emergency tellies. We'll restock these as well. Pause it all. Pause it all. Hundred. More bloods than deaths. Am I remembering that correctly? Yes. Bloods. Deaths. Uh. Okay. Stamina, prayer, super defense, and magic. Two hours left to finish this quest. Maybe I can do it. Manta, Manta, Ram. Thank you now. Manta, Manta, Karam, Karam, Karam. Manta, 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 Karam, 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 Manta, Karam, Manta, Karam. Go to Karam back, grab an anglerfish, eat the anglerfish, grab a Karam. Okay. How long, vaguely, does it take to grab that runecraft outfit? Quite a long time. It's worth it, though. It's really good. But a very long time. Do I have a... KC GOTR? That thing? I've done 180 GOTRs. Uh, they take like 12 minutes each, I think. Uh, and I've only had the outfit for maybe the last 10 of those runs. So that should give you a general idea. You also have to get lucky to get the Abyssal Lantern, or it's an extremely long grind to get that. You also have to get lucky uh, on the Abyssal Needle, although not too lucky. The Abyssal Needle's not too rare. But yeah, it's it's all a grind. It's all it's all a grind. It takes a while. It takes a while. All right, magic potion drop. I'll put you up here so that I actually notice you when you're glowing. Range attack is the daggers. Yep. Magic attack, magic attack is the blue. Okay. Figured that out. I really should have looked at her specials, but apparently they're not there. Anyway. Prayer. <laughs> it's 
smart man would have read all the special attacks. I'm not a smart man. I think it's up. Switch off. Must be wild. Somehow I'm supposed to hide from these. I do not know how. Oh, it could have been worse. I don't know what that attack is. He's got melees now. What? This shit. Oh wait, this is the this thing. I wasn't even close on that. What? I need to bring like knives for that. Oh god, it was going so well. People join the Whisper Decade. Must be so easy being a fucking ASMR <laughs> streamer. You just whisper it's like toilet paper or something. And people give you money. I love whispering into toilet paper. Yeah, you just grab some object and be like, oh, listen to me touch it. Doesn't it sound. Better than last time. Yeah. Hit by a quality microphone. Ignore the OnlyFans sub. Enough healing left. She still got 200 HP. You need to hit the yell. You need to hit the ones that yell Vita. Damn. You're debating doing RuneCraft training without it. I definitely wouldn't do that, brother. RuneCraft is a very long grind. You may as well get the outfit. No real getting away from that. Well, I definitely lasted longer. And uh, I didn't die, so that's an improvement. All right, let's look at my loadout. One more of these. Well, first, let's get back over to the Cambazal place. 
Ooh. My nerves. That sure was a lot of clicking. Yeah, the one prayer pot was fine, I think. I still had a sip left. It'll be tight, but I think I need the inventory space more than I need the... You just gotta hit hit her and don't get hit, Blue hold out. all you're unsure about is a bind for her to use melee? Okay, how do I dodge it? Don't let her turn you into a simp. Too late. Four, three... I'm running that whole fight, so I definitely want a full stamp pot. Pray melee or be far enough away to run away more. Oh. Does she always do it after uh, the special attacks? That seemed to be the, me the mechanic, was every time she did a special attack, she would send out that blue spell. I'm trying to scroll to where it tells me about her stats, but every time I come out here, it thinks I'm back, back, back on the very first part of the quest, and I have to scroll the thing again. Activate the Blackstone Fragment in your inventory. Avoid dark green seeds and step on light green ones. Screech. Pillars appear, which you must hide behind to avoid damage. After each special attack, the Whisperer fires out a blind binding spell if you are within ten tiles of, here, of her dealing melee damage. Twelve souls appear. Kill them to avoid the Whisperer dealing a massive hit. Yeah, that doesn't say anything about Vita, but yeah, I'll look for the ones that yell out Vita, I guess. Vita means life, as they say. Uh, back to my inventory setup. Mage pot? Need the super defense. I need to fill my inventory. I definitely, definitely got enough runes. And that's not going to be a problem. Actually, that might be a problem. I only had 94. That's only 49, 47 more casts. So I think 47 more casts is going to be enough. Let's be safe. Double it up. Not double it up, 50% more. That should definitely be enough. Da -da, da -da. Damn it. Damn it. I'm going to topple these stones, and only two people can do it, but it's such easy points. You get 200 points every time you interact with it. Mm -hmm. It's like two kills. I mean, third on the leaderboard by a thousand points. Let's go. All right. Drink you. A while back, grab the anglerfish, eat you. Santa. Maybe I want to bring a line of Sarah's. Maybe that's what I need. Do, do, do. I realize I'm running down my boost right now, but I think this might be the winning ticket. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Super Resto. Because the Super Resto will double as a prayer pot if I need it. I think that's going to be better than two Manta Rays, two Karambons. It's just going to be a little bit slower to heal up, so I can't do it in a panic. Hmm. Also, I've just completely negated to bring something in my last inventory slot. That's a mistake. Also, you know what? This plus four magic. I think I'm going to drink right now and just bring two Manta Rays. Update my loadout. There we go. Mage and defense potion. You know what? Uh, like what? Like uh, <laughs> let me start this conversation again. Yep. Um, <laughs> if you made like an MMO game, uh huh, like RuneScape or fucking uh, uh, World of Warcraft or doesn't matter what the yeah. gameplay is. What, yeah. what would the concept be? I don't know. I wouldn't make an MMO. Okay. Alright, I got all my things popped. I got all my things popped. Just go on in there. Go on in there. Turn on my praise and start... Start killing her. 
I'd love to see an MMO game where devs just basically tell you fuck all. Like, it's all just mysteries and secrets. They don't tell you shit. And you just have to discover the game as you go. That's what they tried doing with New World. With New World? That's not yeah. very well. I know, not, not very well, all. but that's what they tried doing with it. I think New World was... Like, massively... I don't know, there was lots of features that should have been in the game that just went in. I think they rushed New World. But I mean, having dungeons and Sean, secrets in you. dungeons... Can you not talk about this right now? <laughs> Click and beat the boss. Green. 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 No. Run away. Oh, she didn't do the attack. Weird. Oh God. What? I was behind it. No, I used the tab. I went insane. Is it not actually line of sight? Is it literally just stand to the north of the pillar? Fuck me. Ugh. But I had to be at an angle to dodge the attack, and it just hit me anyway. Didn't know the shockwave just comes out south north, regardless of where the whisperer's at. Fucking Christ. I don't think that was the run anyway, but fuck me. It's annoying. Yes, and when it first happens, if you use the stone, you'll see the HP of the pillars. You know. I'm not mad at you. It's my own fault for not using a guide. But if you got tips and tricks like that, you can just type them out anytime. <laughs> you don't have to wait for me to fail three times. <laughs> so anytime you got good advice, you're not you're not gonna bother me. Feel free. Somehow I've still got my stamina pot active even though I fucking died. So that's neat. Oh. Definitely giving Jagex too much credit to think they could manage to figure out a diagonal attack in the first place. That's my fault. 
Oh, God. Yeah, do whatever you want. You've just been really helpful across the course of the whole quest. So I figured if you had any more good advice, I'm more than willing to listen to it. Sorry if I sounded pushy. Focus more on proper prayers, personally use sound cues. That's fair. I just want to make sure to not get hit by the tentacle whip thing. Because that damages my sanity. Maybe I'm focusing too much on that. Stamina. Prayer. Super defense. Mage. Anglerfish, Manta, 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 Karam, 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 Manta. Oh, didn't even get to the chance to use my Cerebrews that time. I just died to the wave attack. Am I forgetting anything? Uh, I didn't fully restock on those. Fuck it. It's more than I initially came down with by 15 whole casts. We'll see if that works. Can't wait to lose because I didn't bring enough runes. That'd be tragic. I gotta get more practice in the boss fight before I really worry about that, though, because I don't. Don't think I'll be able to manage the fight this time. All right, disturb. Hello? Oh God, right, I died. All right, I'll just come back with more runes. All right, my auto attack is not on because I have died. So let's swap that out. The GE. Deposit two mantas. Get some water runes. Get some law runes. I don't know if that's enough. That should be though. Lassar teleport. I wonder if there's a stronger spell I should be using. Blood Blitz is healing me up, though. Is Blood Bl Barrage stronger, or is it just Blood Blitz and can hit multiple enemies? Does it actually hit higher? Can anyone check that for me real quick? Or if anyone knows? You anglerfish. A little stamina sip. And Manta Manta. Also, I may as well have a new sip of super defense. Bother with the magic potions going forward. Where's super defense? Oh, grab the manta, please. Grab the manta, please. 
God knows I'm going to need it. A cathedral. Okay. Stir up the figure. clue what I'm supposed to do there. Seems like less than I do. Alright, if I get hit by a single spec for the rest of the fight, I have to lose instantly. Oh! 
Oops. Oh, she's sticking them up. Well, there's no shot that I actually look at. So just gotta tank the mage with my mage gear. I I move. Fuck you. I don't know what to do in that phase because I can't handle that. <sighs> I have to get there with way more food left over, I guess. I don't fucking know what to do there. There's no way I can handle the clicking on her, the flicking the prayers, and the moving around the arena at the same time. I'm just not that I'm just not good enough at this game for that. You probably would have made it Use if you didn't lose sanity. Did I run out of sanity? I didn't even realize I ran out of sanity. If I'd known I was out of sanity, I would have just teleported out. I had no idea. Sean, I'm not you. I don't cheat in games when I'm bad at them. At the very end, you it's ran out of cool sanity. Okay, fair enough. To assist you. Okay, how do I get back there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. How about a little sip of stamina? I swear to God, I had a three sip stamina somewhere. I do. It's just on the wrong tab. Very cool. I'm definitely getting a little bit better at the early phase, but that end phase, I don't fucking know what to do. I just have to get there with a lot of food left over. And just try to tank through it. She doesn't have too much HP. It's just going to come down to RNG, whether or not I can actually land hits or not. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, because I must have been hit by the tentacles, and that's why I lost sanity. Yeah, I didn't focus on things like that. Oh, shit. Where are these? Dump these. Full prayer pot, full stamina pot. You know, I really don't need the full stamina pot. The fight's not lasting long enough. Just give me this two shot. That'll be fine. Actually, no, because in a minute I'm going to run out. Give me the full stamina pot, whatever. Super defense is almost completely gone. Give me a new super defense. Okay. One, two, three, one. Foods. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Emergency teleports. You. You. And I need. Wait, that not? I haven't checked my corpse yet. Oh my god. 
I'm losing it. I'm looking at that little clicker at the bottom of the screen that says I have an hour and a half left. Which means I maybe have about half, maybe have one full hour to do this quest and then 30 minutes to get the achievement diary done. Don't click on the climb down. Ugh. Why are my graves not showing me an indicator? Is it just because they're not on the overworld so they're bugged? Tag all graves. There we go. Definitely starting to get competence with the first phase. I just have to get lucky on the second phase. Just have to get lucky on the second phase. Just have to get lucky on the second phase. Let's drink some water. Okay. These back. Get new ones. Duh, duh. I thought I ran out of runes for a second there too. I didn't know what happened because it, it deleted my auto cast for some reason. I don't know if that's a mechanic of the fight or what, but for some reason I just couldn't auto cast Blood Blitz anymore. I have no idea what caused that. It's definitely annoying though, especially right at the start of the final phase. Maybe if I hadn't been bungling around my inventory, maybe that would have been the difference maker. drank so many Sarah brews you dropped your mage lower than the level need to cast the spell that's probably it it was minus 12 mage per sip need 80 oh yeah I can only drink two no I can't even drink two I can only have a single sip of Sarah or at least my auto cast that's fucked well if that's the case Hey, Ness. Ness, I'm doing the hardest boss and the hardest quest in the game. Also, if you'd like to join the call, Sean's here. <laughs> the bank run to this boss is so annoying. About three damn loading screens. Bed can't sleep, asthma acting up. Fair enough. Do, do, do. Mage boost is going to be completely gone by the time I get down there. May as well just stop using the mage boost. It only ends up being like plus two by the time I start the fight. Just an extra thing to juggle. Too tired to get out of bed as well. Dilemma, dilemma. Oh well. Sean's apparently not even here, so it all works out in the end. Yeah. Oh, Sean's here. I've been here the whole time. Ah, I don't think that's true. Yes, it is. Ah, I don't know. It is. Ah, I've been playing chivalry. Oh, chivalry. I'm very chivalrous, my lord. Oh my god, I did it again. Off to a rocking good start. Oh 
run away from the melee attack. Oh, she doesn't get the attack. I should heal. If you do the phase correctly, she doesn't get to do her little melee move. Why'd you get your attack off? I thought I did your face correctly. Fuck you. So unfair, my attack's just straight up not fast enough. Two pair pops for us. Alright, we can't do Mystics anymore. Just pre range and hope. God, it would be cool if you <laughs> dodged that. God, it'd be cool if you dodge that. <laughs> In a perfect world, I would dodge attack. Not this world, but a perfect world. Prayer. I am going to die. I should really eat some food. Time to leave. Okay. That went a lot better. I need two prayer pots, though. I don't know what happened between that last successful attempt and this successful attempt. Oh, I used to have super restores. I used to have super restores. Ah, that's what it is. Let's give me extra prayer. Okay, definitely need two prayer pots.
probably maybe possibly could have done it that run if I had had two prayer pots because then I would have uh, not been taking so much damage from the actual attacks. I needed to hit 44 damage to win. So this definitely seems doable. Two prayer pots. Let's make my inventory look a lot cleaner too because now the whole top line is just pots. How long on quest? Uh, four hours and 40 minutes. And if I log out, it'll have to be next bond. <laughs> I have an hour and 20 minutes to finish this quest. Probably won't be able to do Lumbi, Lumbi Elite today. You know what? Let's go ahead and check. Check on Achievement Diaries. What do I actually have to do for Lumbridge and Drainer Elite? I have to Smith something. So that's actually really quick. Quest Cape Emote. That's pretty quick. I have to access the Water Altar. That's actually really quick. And I have to chop Magics. That's actually really quick too. So... If I get the kill, this attempt, or maybe next attempt, I might actually be able to complete the Achievement Diary in addition to the quest. If not, we'll see. Bank, 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 pull up my bank tab. Give me some laws and waters. A little sippy, a little telly. This is the last boss, though. At least as far as I know. If I get the kill, hard part's over. 89 thieving? Congrats on 89 thieving. 90 thieving soon. I didn't die, so I don't have to go pick up a grave. We can just full reset. Very cool. Sean, can you tell I'm nervous? Does it show up in my voice? I'm always nervous. That's just not true. Being in the spotlight all day. Oh my god. Any elites use thieving? Probably. Not that come to mind, though. Feud. Feud, 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 feud. How about a super defense sip? And fuck it, I'll keep using this little thing. Plus two mage may make all the difference in the end. Uh, just everything else manta rays? Looks like it. I'm on auto attack. I am, in fact, on auto attack. 91 thieving for elite desert. There you go. 91 thieving for elite desert. Those noises make you thirsty? What the bloop, 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 bloop? Attempt number four or five? I don't actually know. Failed to flip, they were hitting for a 24. Huh?
Stand in there. the wrong order to those out. Oh, 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 holy shit, that was horrible. damage with this inventory? It's never gonna happen. not reach me though. <laughs> Does one of the attacks drain prayer? I swear I just drank a purple. <laughs> I got one per one heal left? Leave. Jesus. Yeah, this is just this is not gonna happen. Alright, I'm gonna do a farm run and call it there. I'll have to do desert treasure next uh bond. I'm not actually any closer than I was two or three attempts ago. It's just pure luck on the RNG. I'm not I'm not ready to use my last hour grinding that out. Seems doable though. I'll probably get it next time I play. Yeah, sorry Cummins. It's just not it's not close enough. I had one attempt that must have had really good RNG where she had like 44 HP left. But that was the only attempt that was close. So I'm just gonna do a farm run and uh start playing Liza P or maybe Valheim with Sean if he's gonna be around. I don't actually know what his schedule is like. Uh tomorrow, not tonight. It's like twenty past one. I don't wanna start playing. Um No, there's no point. Okay. It's like, uh, start introducing it like 30 minutes in, we'll get nothing done, and then it'll be like, well, I'm going, you know. What would you change no or point. upgrade? I mean, just better gear. 
There's not really anything else I can upgrade for that fight. Well, I've already got 99 magic. Like, I can't get higher magic. The gear might be holding me back. Maybe I need to be on a different spell book. I don't know if other spell books can damage her or not. I, don't, I have no idea. I'll spend the next few days, while I'm not a member, looking up uh, details on the fight, maybe. Other spell books can damage her? Okay. Uh, if you want to take a screenshot, that's my gear. I'm using Ancient Staff with these, this line right here. That's my best in slot for Mage. Blood spells do you justice with healing? That's what I figured. That's how I did the Saren fight. But, uh, yeah, it's just not coming together. I want to make sure I get this farm run done. Make sure I grab my dailies. I won't be able to grab the battle staves, will I? Because those require a, a relog to show up. Yeah, no problem, Cum Cummins. Thanks for hanging out and watching the stream. Sorry I couldn't get it done. But I just don't think it's going to happen in the next couple attempts. I don't think I'm close enough right now. I may look up some... Yeah, I can't buy my battle staves. I may look up some uh, mage gear upgrades and see what the... what I can upgrade best in slot on. I already have a brimstone ring. Okay, I saw all the other bosses that will help me. Absolutely, man. All right. I need to run around and grab all my dailies. May as well sell all these off. I maybe should have put those in a note. You're not using that one then? No, nah, I'm using the Sears ring imbued. If you think the brimstone would be better, I'll put I'll put a little note on my loadout. Try using brimstone. That makes sense because it'll help with the multi-attack types. It'll help with defend against range and mage instead of just giving mage. That makes sense though. That's probably a reasonable S swap out. Okay. I have one hour and seven minutes to do a farm run. That is plenty of time. Yeah, I definitely have to wind down because I'm too too wired right now from those fights going on the whole time. Gotta chill a little bit before I go straight into Lies of P. Or I'll become the an anarcho gamer and destroy my channel. So I'll sell all of these too. I keep doing that. Put it in notes. There we go. Put one back. There we go. What the hell's going on over here? I'm rich. I got a red hat and some antidotes. And a ring of life. Do I even have meat pizzas in here? Must do. Sell that red hat. Sell these seaweeds. Oh, seaweeds are up. Let's go. Alright. Didn't instantly sell, despite me cutting it slightly under the asking price. Make sure those sell for the inflated price. Try 285. 285 didn't work. Okay. Maybe the price checker is just lying to me. Let's go for 270. I'll let those sit. Because those are also not instantly selling. Oh man. Price checker, you're so funny. Apparently you lied. Wiki says Sears is the way to go. Fair enough. I do need to swap back. Be standard. There we go. So I can use. Atelis. Maybe you can watch like a half hour of me doing lies of P. Looking at flights. Even though you're not going to be on old school RuneScape, you're still going to stream. I will absolutely be streaming every single day. I'll do three or four days of lies of P. Probably how, however long it takes me to, to finish lies of P. And then I'll probably pop another bond and days. come back to 14 days. It may. I don't know how long it'll take me to finish Lies of P. But unless I hate the game for some reason, I probably won't drop it. You shouldn't. It's a good, like... Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's what good. everyone I've heard is say it's a, it's a very good Souls game. It, it's a very good Souls game. Like, there's a few downsides to it. You might get frustrated. Apparently it's very lot. heavy on parries, though, similar to Sekiro. It is. 
like extremely heavy on pairings. It's a key mechanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like Sekiro. It's a key mechanic in Sekiro, too. And Sekiro was fine. I wasn't huge on it, but... I mean, the difficulty wasn't why I fell off of Sekiro. I just wasn't really feeling it. Like, I'm, like, in I'm, this not a, one, I'm not a huge dex build guy, and Sekiro just feels like a Souls game where you're playing dex the whole time. I'm just not, no, I'm like, not big on that. And this one... Like Sekiro felt like a rhythm game. This one didn't give me that feeling. That's like true. the moves are quite telegraphed. Assassin's Creed level of just parry. Builds. Well, a, quite a bit harder to parry in Souls games usually than Assassin's Creed. But yeah, probably. All right, what am I doing? What am I doing? Don't get there's confused. A, there's a big parry time. window. Teleport to house. That's what I'm doing. Is the assassin gonna keep attacking me? Because I've started the quest. Is she just going to randomly show up when I'm doing shit? I don't think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> At least I don't have to worry about that. Have they showed up again? They've just showed up once after each boss kill, I think. I'm so sad. My mahogany trees are going to be fully grown like 10 minutes after my logout timer forces me out of the game. That XP drop will have to wait. And then I can't plant new ones. You're going to say it's good? Alright, cool. We take those. Got to apply for a credit card and see if they'll give me a higher limit. Oh no. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. No, nice. apparently daylight savings... Kicked over at like probably 2 or 3 a.m. this morning. I shouldn't have to worry about that. Anyway, now that I'm out of the quest, I can turn the music back on. But yeah, it may also be the case that once I get on a world I don't have 90 ping on, that may also help significantly with the quest, with the Whisperer fight. Just have to wait and see. Definitely feel like I'm getting better with the mechanics, but I imagine the quest was not designed around having Dagon High robes. I'm sure it's doable with Dagon High, but Farseer Helm and Dagon High is probably not the intended gear for you to go in there. Would be my guess. I realize it's the easier version of the boss, but uh, even still. Yeah, sorry to anybody disappointed I ran out of time to do the quest. Got three out of four bosses done, though, so I can just hard focus on that next time I come back. You think Vorkath after the quest is easier? I don't think that's true. I thought all the bosses were easier in the quest than they are afterwards. Literally isn't. I didn't think so. Like... Warcath's not insanely hard or anything, but I didn't think it was easier than the quest version. The quest version was like piss simple. Speaking of piss simple, I need to drink some more water. Also, my friend Aiden works weekends. He'll probably be around during the week. Uh, so I'm gonna probably play some Baldur's Gate when I'm not doing Liza P. And if uh, Sean and Aiden are both around, Sean can give Aiden a Game Pass code, and we can all check out Valheim or whatever. I think I think Aiden was interested in that. Well, quest version is less HP, less strong, like other quest-related bosses. That's what I thought. I think, just, I think just generally speaking, Vorkath's quite easy. You may be rolling up to it post-quest and misremembering how easy it was during the quest. Vorkath's fight's just plain and simple easy. I, 
think I died twice to Horkath while I was learning it. And after I learned it, I don't I didn't even come close. See, we'd still haven't sold. I think it really did lie to me for what they, about what they were going for at the time. Also, I did not mean to deposit those. I'm gonna need those. All right. The poison ivy seeds, watermelon seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Import. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they did sell. Let's go. Of release, release anything over here. Yep. Okay. I think that is it. Double check. Yep. That's right. I'm gonna turn off the quest helper. Fuck it out. I'm like, oh, I need, I need a credit card and. I, my current credit card limit isn't enough, so I've just gone on the bank app and I'm like, oh, check my eligibility, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, uh, 2,000 pounds, and it's like, here's 3,000! <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, what? You're rich. Just throw money at me. Yeah, well, that's what I need. 3,000 pounds is actually way more than I need, but... Send me some. Uh, it's, it's for a holiday, so I want to be able to put all of it <laughs> on a credit card. You've never had yeah, a credit flight. card? No, I have a credit First card. First question, how old are you? I've had several credit cards. Sean, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Bunnyo. Oh. So, you are 30 and never had a credit card. That's abnormal, but more power to you if you can get by without one. I hardly ever use a credit card. I pretty much use it like special purchases. But if I go on holiday, I always put it on a credit card for extra protection and shit. Uh, but the holiday, uh, the one I'm planning is more than my limit. So I need another card or increase the limit on my current one. I have never taken this long to kill the Vampire. percent interest. Oh my god. RNG's just not on my side today. That must be why I can't call the Whisperer. Holy shit. I'm pre-approved for this credit card. 0% fees to withdraw cash. That's good. 0% fee for using my card abroad. That's good. Having no credit card makes getting cars and property hard? Yeah because you can't build up credit if you don't have a credit card, or at least it's a lot harder to build up credit. You can build up credit history from other ways, but America is different America. The best really way to build up credit, credit here is to pay off things that are like monthly fees, like power bills, house payments, like mortgages, yeah. car payments. That's weird. Like You get a higher credit score when you have debt. You get a higher credit score by paying off debt. The debt itself doesn't give you a cre higher credit score. No, I mean it does. That's what, that By having debt, you have a higher credit score. That's what I mean. I was, I was speaking to like some bank you lady the first time I could certainly argue it that way, but it's not exactly the case. You build your, no, credit, I mean, but you I build like, your credit by paying off debt. In order to build your credit by paying off debt, you do have to have some debt. But if you miss payments, your credit score goes to shit no, instantly. No, what, what I mean is... No, forget the missing payments thing. I mean like... Say I spent something like two grand on my uh -huh. credit card and my credit score goes up because I've spent money and I'm paying it off or whatever. Right. I don't know what my credit score is. doesn't matter. It's gone up. Yep. The moment it's paid off, my credit score decreases. That is not That's true. what I mean. Having a debt that, that I'm paying off. True. It must be different in the UK then. But like it's... 
something to do with like how the my credit score works. has been going up steadily for the last like eight or nine years. I have never once in my entire life had debt carry forward on a credit card. Yeah. It has paid off every time, almost always before they even asked me to make a payment. No, I've never had debt carry forward. But when I've checked my credit score yeah. and I've had debt and I've checked my credit score and I've had no debt, it's yeah. been lower. It goes that because I was like speaking to someone about it and I was like, wouldn't it make more sense? Because I've just proven that I can take on debt, I can manage it and then pay it off. And you're like, yeah, but when you actively have debt and you're managing to pay it off at the same time while having it, that is more valuable to a, a banker. So it increases your credit score more. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Because it shows that you can manage both. But when you actually have the debt and have paid it off, that's less interesting. So your credit score goes down. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, how does that make sense? And he's like, yeah. So as, as soon as you put two grand on your card, your credit score goes up. And as soon as you pay that two grand off, your credit score goes down again. Yeah, but it goes down like, by less than it went up. Oh, yeah, no, part. it's not a dramatic drop. <laughs> it's only like a couple of points. But I was just saying, like, that doesn't make sense to me because having debt increases my credit score. Paying off that debt reduces it. And I was like, what? It's like, so no. you really shouldn't look at a credit score. As an American, you shouldn't look at a credit score like that. A credit score is something you build up over an extremely long period of time. Thinking yeah. about it like, I'm going to go to Costco and buy a $4,000 television to boost my credit score is not the right way to look at your credit score. You can boost it other ways. It's just by like having payments that you manage over time. So having a phone contract increases your credit score. Having yeah, monthly, ba monthly like payments. Like mortgages and shit. Monthly payment, back, car, phone. Yeah. That's usually like your easiest one straight away. I mean, me credit card. I don't. I don't need one. Like my credit I use score credit has gone up like seventy holidays. points since I bought my house because every month I have multiple bills I'm paying off every month. Yeah. I just I went from having like I went from things. having like a seven forty to like an eight ten, just because like, I bought a house. And it was funny because when I first bought the house, they were like checking my credit score. A bunch of places were checking my credit score to like sign me up for like my bills and everything. And it caused my credit score to go down. I was like, what the hell? I bought a house. My credit score went down, but it bounced back within like three months. Because every time they do a credit check, it makes your credit score go down. Which is anyway. the actual biggest scam about credit scores is checking your credit score makes it go down. I'm going to apply for this credit card and get a limit of three grand. But I, I don't, don't It sounds it like now. you have a pretty decent understanding of it. I, I got defensive because a lot of people have no fucking clue how credit score works. They think the concept of credit score is predatory. It's like, yeah, if you can't make payments on the things you buy, it is predatory because like it negatively impacts you. But if you pay off the things you buy, it's just a net positive. Because it's something that banks and like other places that give out loans can instantly look at to see if you're like trustworthy with money. Like, oh, it, see, it seems cards. like you've been paying off your credit card consistently for the last 30 years. I can probably a trust of, you to this $1,000 loan. A lot of people get cards and then, you know, don't pay them off. Then they just get another card to pay off the previous one. And then, oh my god, I don't know how you manage that. A lot of people do do that. <clears throat> I, anyway. uh, psycho I was talking to my psychology teacher back in high school about that. She, she'd been, like, under credit card debt for years. And she, at one point, just got, like, this super shitty credit card that had a huge limit and she put all of her credit card bills on that one credit card and just like over like 30 years paid off that credit card instead of having sometimes it makes more payments. sense to consolidate yeah, but usually yeah. with a lower interest rate yeah still a negative the system is still bad brother you got a better idea than capitalism let me hear it because it's working pretty good for me But then I don't have any kids, and I worked for 10 years before I tried buying a house, so. That doesn't work here. Yeah, different, EK is pretty different in that regard. You Like, there's just no we're good for buying a house unless you, like, move up to where Aiden's at. No, two two thirds. Well, it was two thirds. Probably increased by now. Mm -hmm. But two, at least two thirds of houses bought, or at least for first time buyers bought, is just with inheritance money. Yeah, yeah. Like you just, you can't afford it by working and saving. So you wait till your parents die and then you just buy the house using the money that they saved. <laughs> Free trade with no middlemen is my brilliant idea. 
That's a horrible idea, because I really don't want to have to go out to a farm each week to get my produce. I really like the fact that I can just go into a store near my house and get all my groceries and get, like, medicine and get everything I need for the week. Well, that's a question of I love not having to have a working trade. relationship with everyone near me who produces goods. <laughs> that sounds like a nightmare. Uh, sorry, honey, I pissed off the guy down the road who grows the tomatoes. We're gonna have to go without. Oh. I mean, yeah, you can grow it, but... I mean, that takes time. I have a garden out my back of my house, but I don't have a cow. I'm a big fan of milk. Big fan of beef, too. You can't grow everything for yourself. It's costly now. There's all sorts of other, like, small hurdles. What do you do if you have livestock? I like that I can go to Taco Bell, spend $6, and get a Baja Blast and a Crunchwrap Supreme. There's a guy, I think it was the UK, could have been America, who wanted to make like a chicken sandwich, but from scratch. Yeah, so he, he did, did it from everything yeah, from yeah. scratch. And it was like, it cost him like $2,300 yes, or yeah, something yeah. for that chicken sandwich. I remember that. Good good example of why capitalism is kind of nice sometimes. Yeah. I'm glad that when I want a chicken sandwich, I can just get in my car and drive to a place that sells chicken sandwiches for $4. Is it, it's then not use just, a coupon on my phone to get the four dollar chicken sandwich for free. Yeah, but it, it's not just like the cost of buying the things. It it's like the cost of growing it. I like think it was a hamburger. Water. To be fair, I don't think it was a chicken sandwich. I, I, I imagine a chicken sandwich is quite a bit cheaper than a hamburger. I thought it was chicken. It may have been. I may have, I may be giving him. I may be giving him too much credit I'm gonna go to the find mar out. Marxists out there and saying, nah, a chicken sandwich couldn't cost two grand. That's crazy. Chicken sandwich shouldn't cost 2K from scratch. Well, you've got to build uh, you a pen, to, you've got to, build a pen months, to so grow yeah. your chickens in. You've got to gr grow your wheat. You've got to grow your... Uh, you've got to get a cow to make the cheese for your chicken sandwich. You gotta feed your chick. Especially in the winter. He I can spent very, six I can months very doing it. That. And it cost him $1,500. Not too good. For for so it was sandwich? cheaper. It was, it was a chicken sandwich. Okay. Yeah. What do you um, put on the chicken sandwich? Raw ingredient list includes wheat, lettuce, tomato, onion, sunflower, cucumber, dill, Pepper, garlic, salt, chicken, obviously, milk, eggs, and honey. Unsurprisingly, it appears the vegetables were the easiest part of the sandwich to make. Yep. Everything else he made from scratch, yeah. He used no shortcuts either. Yep. He used ocean water, which he then he made salt. To get the salt from, yeah. Yeah. Milks a cow to make cheese. Builds a press to extract the oil from sunflower seeds to make mayonnaise. He harvested the wheat by hand. Uh, separated out the chaff using a fan in his apartment and grinds it to make flour. Spent six months doing it and said, yeah, it wasn't bad. <laughs> Not bad. Cost me $1,500. <laughs> I was thinking like you th I was thinking what it used to be like in the UK and you think back to um, when when did we just have trade instead of currency I'm also a big fan of pineapples and I like that I'm able to get pineapple anytime I'd like to get pineapple instead of just not being able to get pineapple because it's nowhere near me yeah but again I don't think that's strictly speaking capitalism that's also logistics that's just it's easier not strictly to travel capitalism, that's true um but I was thinking, like, oh, UK, like, you go back, like, I don't know, 700 years, we still had currency, but mostly people traded goods for goods. 
Yeah. And then I'm like, what's that called? Oh yeah, serfdom. <laughs> like, it's, actually just, it's actually a barter system, but yeah. I mean, yeah, but it, it serfdom was like the society they were in because if people didn't grow stuff and grow abundance of something to trade, then they traded with skills. Yeah. And everyone just provided to the local lord. My lord. Pay, pay your taxes. What was it in? I've got a cow and three bolts of cloth. You think you'd be a good lord, Sean? Nah. Nah? Too nah. You think you'd be a bad lord? Too lazy? I'm too corruptible. Oh, no. <laughs> a lord from across the river <laughs> offers you his fat daughter, and he's like, kill your men. And you're like, okay. I'd I don't be like, like, what's his face? From... <laughs> The, uh, the sheriff of Sherwood or whatever. Yeah, yeah. A pick from the poor to give to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever watch that um, oh, Robin Hood film, but not the... What, the Men in Tights? No, it's like a modern new one. And it, it wasn't the one which was like... Russell Crowe. Or Hello, something. Bunny, and welcome to the Forge in the Glen. Thanks for joining the server, big boy. Appreciate it. Like, <laughs> like Russell Crowe did like a sort of if Robin Hood was real kind of film, and it was. I did not see the Russell Crowe Robin Hood movie. I heard it was not. There's good. a, there's a different Robin Hood one, which is like. Oh, I'm gonna have to Google it. You're so not what I think you were going for. Oh. Can't hear you. You're muffled. Between the game audio and the music being played on stream, I can't hear you. Have to nah, no, no, no. It was my system trying to use the wrong fucking microphone. Sorry about that. That's alright. You sound fine now. So, uh, what I was trying to say is I think the Sheriff of Nottingham is what you were looking for on. Oh, yeah, sure. Like your sure sheriff word. thing. Different thing. It's that in Sherwood or Sherwood. Oh, Sherwood um, first. No, it, it's the Robin Hood film with Russell Crowe's 2010. That was like. It's as, called Robin Hood, wasn't it? Yeah, it was called Robin Hood. Yeah. And it was as if Robin Hood was like a real person. He comes back from war. He was and not a lord. anthropomorphic fox. Yeah, yeah. So it was semi realistic. But he managed one, tights, tight tights. The other one is like Robin Hood in 2018. Also called Robin Hood. I think Jamie Foxx is in it. Jamie Foxx, Taron Egerton from. You know that uh, one was historically accurate. Yeah, no, this this is not <laughs> the historically accurate one. But I'm gonna get to a bit that <laughs> I suspect it was actually a different film. But what's up? Um, there's like scenes in that film where it's. It's still set, you know, in the past, right? Yeah. But the city is like bigger than London, and it's like more impressive. It's got skyscrapers and stuff, and you're like, this, this didn't exist like 600 years ago. The clothing he's wearing, as well, it looks. Like, I swear he's wearing plastic at some point. What you're describing currently reminds me of that uh, Romeo and Juliet remake where they try to make it like hood related and all gangsters. That movie's great. I loved it. I burst it out laughing so hard when they pulled out the fucking nine caliber sword. That's it. Where am I going? I'm going to Brimhaven. Anyway, the bit I remember the most, right, is it briefly goes over the story of he's gone off to the Crusades. Yeah. to fight and then he comes back and it 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 takes inspiration from like Black Hawk Down or something <clears throat> and like it's not the Crusades like what you think of of like chivalry 2 or something uh, uh. you know fighting in a field or a castle no he's going through like the streets of Baghdad <laughs> and he's got like a team of four or five people like a small unit and they're just going through the streets and they're like checking their corners and stuff. It's like <laughs> it's like military. They've got all the <laughs> they've got their He's bows instead of their M16s or whatever. And they're like fully knocked all the time. Same. <laughs> just full drawn bows, checking their corners. And then I remember they get ambushed by terrorists. Sorry. Uh who did they fight in the Crusades? 
Muslims. Muslims? <laughs> yeah, so they get ambushed by Congrats, Muslims. Physics. They get ambushed by Muslims. <laughs> and, um... It's just... It, yeah, it's Black Hawk Down yet again. So they're like hiding in the buildings and then they're using people's hostages and they jump out and they just hit them with high explosives. But yeah. they don't have explosives. So instead, it's just a really big crossbow. <laughs> 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 but because you need to make this connection in your head that they're terrorists, he holds it like it's an RPG. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it goes over his shoulder and to, <laughs> and to give the... <laughs> You're losing to it, let brother. you know it's a really big crossbow to like you know justify the explosion it's not one crossbow bolt it's like 12 in a bundle oh i gotta find a screenshot of it it's terrible i was just like this this is just a war film for like the first 30 minutes and it's it's if they're wearing body armor like it's not even like plated ah oh, i can find an image it sounds pretty glorious. It sounds like they knew what they were doing. <laughs> I can copy an image here. It's, it's pretty... yeah. <laughs> Tom, did you do the bandle today? It hasn't reset. Oh. Contract's done. What's my next contract? Look, there's one image of him hiding in cover. Oh, why did you DM me that? Post that in the server. What are you doing? Uh, what do I put under? Just general chat. Art. Just general chat. All right. I drove a, there's drove one a of dragon them. fruit tree for you. Honestly, considering I'm about to stop playing the game for a few days, that's actually pretty all right. Let's do a dragon fruit tree. Fuck it. Normally, I would I say find the easier, one. but dragon fruit tree, not too bad. 15 coconuts. Noted. noted. Do, do, do. Was it 25 coconuts? 15 coconuts, okay. I'm not hell, crazy. Hell. Hell has its Me, hell. my axe. Effect in the course, curtain falls, but hold your applause. Swerve, swerve, but now down here come the claw. Stone. Have the dragon fruit. Pay for the dragon fruit. That'll do nicely, madam. Leave it to me. You got it. Was it? Grab three hundred coins. The U tree. Ready on Monday at eleven a.m. It says, I didn't know this, it says he was drafted into the Crusades. Lord Robin of Loxley was madly in love with a feisty thief, blah, blah, blah. He's drafted into the Crusades by the evil sheriff of Nottingham. And then it says, like, side note, huh? Yeah, or, or it goes, side note, soldiers were never drafted into the yep. Crusades. They yep. believed that killing heathens that occupied the Holy Land was a religious duty that got them a free pass into heaven. Not to mention lots of loot. <laughs> yeah. And the city sheriff would certainly have no power to draft or even seize the lands of a noble, <laughs> noble if he, even if he wanted to. I knew we were off to a good start when you got drafted for the Crusades. <laughs> I mean that thing that basically everybody was gung-ho about just joining up for free? Turns out all your sins will be forgiven and you'll get rich. God, that one, that image didn't. Oh no, that image did post. Especially if, like, you got to become a knight and get to fucking skip the, uh, four years of being essentially a slave. I forgot what the term is. Squire, page, I don't know. Squire, that's it. I'm looking at these pictures and I don't know what to even think. Truly incredible. It's all just like tight corners. 
chaos. Explosion goes off. He gets PTSD. It's uh, it's Black Hawk Down, but they never invented guns. They just had bows. <laughs> I just really want the crossbow RPG one because it's such an amazing shot. Two million XP to go until 99 farming. the film somewhere so yeah. I can screen cap it <laughs> don't think the image exists tried looking for clips of it on YouTube oh I can't do that oh perfect I think this is the first one that got no no this is after he's come back damn um Did you follow on Twitch? Not yet. I'm getting there. Okay. Because I was wondering, because when I finish, when I run out of time on the account, I'm going to take the stream down and get, get some food. I'll be back on probably about 30 minutes after the stream goes down. That's why I was asking. I wasn't trying to neg you into following the channel. I didn't catch it because my, my computer was oh, blue screening no. and restarting again, but... Do you think that your logs might come up because it was an hour pushed forward in the server time? No, 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 I don't. Because uh, okay. daylight savings always rolls over at like 2 or 3 a.m. So I don't think it'll matter. But it's What's my nine. screen cap thing? Could have been wrong, though. Could have been if I'd waited an hour and then logged. I could have been able to do my Mahogany's and Hespori fight, but it's not the end of the day. Uh I just asked because, like, you were like, whoa, why the dailies reset? And then we figured out that yeah. answer. I'll be logged out in approximately 30 minutes. Oh my god. Oh no, not nerd log! Search so bar's broken. Me. It's okay, I'm just living out vicariously through other people who have membership because mine's out right now, too. And I have a bond in the bank I don't feel like using. Yeah, I've got a bond bank, but I'm gonna wait. At least a few days. Unless I somehow beat Liza P in like two days, then I might just go ahead and remembers. Although I think Sean and I are going to do some Valheim. I think you had a couple of days off, so we should be able to do some of that. I'm not sure how much Liza P I'll actually play tonight. I was trying to push my sleep schedule forward to fix it, Sean, but it's ended up backsliding. I went to bed at like 3 a.m. this morning, and I've been going to bed at like 7 or 8 a.m. If I get tired around midnight, I just go to bed. Yeah, I'm just uploading photos or something. Oh boy, he's found it. Yeah, I have photo. Uh, I found it. I have photo. Found it. <laughs> I have a photo found it. Capture region. It's 720p. It's pretty shitty quality, but. Capture region, what program do you use? <laughs> so fucking bad. 
I ask because, like, apparently no one ever uses the same image capture thing that I do. I share it. Yeah, yes! People of my kind! <laughs> the last girl I dated, she always used the window snipping tool. I was like, what are you talking that, about? That's irregular. What do you mean you use the window snipping tool? She's like, yeah, it works great. I'm like, I guess. The one that I always hated because it always adds ads and a, like a bright white screen around it. Does it? <sighs> I forget. No, no, there, there's a program that does that that majority of people I find use. And before ShareX bought Push, I was just like, use Push! I used to use Hyper Desktop. Yeah, I well, see this. It's a I new one under my my book. Sherex, and I haven't changed since then because Sherex has got everything I need it to have. Did either of you use the Sherex back when it was called Push? Nope. Okay. That's Sherex fair. The whole time I've been using it. I think we're looking at like three years ago at this point. It's been a minute. I would have thought I've been using ShareX that long, but maybe not. Must have been right Here. on the cusp of when I swapped from Hyper Desktop. Yeah, nothing a quick Google search <laughs> can't figure out. That's <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> Capture region. <laughs> All right. All right. That's like, you, you've seen the stuff I've posted so far, All right? That's just yeah. like... That's, that's your mounted sniper position. With an automatic crossbow that he's able to just open and reload, like changing the barrel. There's him, the last one is him, just walking through. In, he's inside a building with one arrow and he's got his bow. He's clearing the building. Yeah. His bow's oh. fully drawn back. That's him. <laughs> that's fucking image here. Okay. He's losing it again. It's just so bad. Like, how did they? All right, there's this one. This is them about to be ambushed. You see that thing on the right? I do. It's not in screen yet. Let me advance the footage forward a bit. Oh boy. <laughs> Capture. Reach. Holy shit, you joined the call without even doing the roll? Like, welcome to server onboarding? There it Holy is. Shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I skipped that. I, I skipped all the skippable things. <laughs> not even supposed to be able to skip those. That's going to be a problem yeah. for you, because it's not going to give you access to any of the channels. I'm in a voice chat. I'm happy. Fair enough. <laughs> I got welcome introductions. I got general art, food, clips, and highlights. The DLEs. Notifications. Hey, somehow you did get all the channels. What the hell? That's not supposed to happen. Check that out later. Figure out how the hell you got all the locations without having a role. Fuck that. I'm just looking at it. It's just like 800 years later, still the same tactics. It might be because, like, I did, uh, so I pulled up your URL link and realized I didn't have Discord downloaded to my computer anymore because I did a fresh system restart the other day. So I'm still fighting blue screens of death. I fucking hate my computer right now. Nah, I bet. And after downloading and logging in, I just refreshed this URL. It asked me two questions that had a skip bo uh, skip feature at the bottom right-hand corner. They were like, what's your pronouns? And I was like, well, fuck that noise. Um, and it was some other question. I was like, well, fuck that noise, too. And then I had to pick the last one where I had to, like, yeah, I like jazz. Oh, okay. The bees got me. How does that crossbow even that's, work? That's the, the role. That's string. the question that actually gives you all the roles. Oh, uh, okay. Access. So I still did that one. You, I don't know. Maybe it's just not popping up yet. No, no, no. That, you, that, that answer you have to answer is the one that gives you access to the channel. You have it. You have all the channels. It sounded like you're not mi actually missing any of them. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, like, it might just not pop up under my name yet. I definitely have the role then. Oh, no. There's not a role associated with it. Answering that question is what gives you access to the server. Uh... Is it a macaroni or a rice kind of night? 
Physics says rice. You know, physics is wrong. What the I'm thinking hell? macaroni. Put the rice in with your macaroni and have cheesy rice. It's not an awful idea, but I'd rather have multiple meals than one really good one. Damn. Bro really just called macaroni rice a really good meal. Yeah, I'm not at a wealthy spot in my life. <laughs> Microsoft may lose $120 million due to the Overwatch League shutdown. Oh, hmm. did it shut down finally? Apparently. I think I remember hearing something about that. So, someone saying the home <laughs> the home stand model for like home based teams was stupid. It was funny because like, I was watching the BlizzCon like thing they had a few days ago. And uh, they were like, Phil Spencer, because Xbox acquired Blizzard, came out on stage and uh, he was like, oh man. It's great to be here at my first BlizzCon. The, uh... You've got such a history here of, like, StarCraft and Diablo with, like, online play and World of Warcraft with, like, games as a service and Overwatch with its inclusivity. And I was like, oh, no. That Overwatch's <laughs> legacy is just, like, LGBT representation? We just kept adding to our roster. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's rough. I uh, feel like that's saying, where a lot of MOBAs sit, though. The homestand model of having Overwatch teams was stupid. Of having, like, oh, teams from Boston, teams from London, and stuff like that. Because it's like, oh, Cloud9's US-based organization, but they run the London Spitfire team, which is 100% Korean. All right, Bunny, you made it through, but I have now set the other two questions in the onboarding to be required as well. Aha, uh -huh, grandfather did. Okay. <laughs> I'm just here to be helpful in every aspect. It doesn't have to be RuneScape. <laughs> Do you watch on phone or PC? PC. Okay. That's why blue screens keep uh, stopping me. <laughs> Unless phones can blue screen now, too. That's a scary thought. Get rolled, nerd. I've assigned you the he, him pronoun in PC tags. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'll leave it up to you to pick a color in the uh, Get Rolls channel. That also an avoidable thing. And I just not. No, yeah, you can avoid. <laughs> you can avoid that because you're you're blue by default. Unless you don't want to be blue. If you don't want to be blue. You have to go to the Get Rolls channel and pick a different color. I'm blue. Abba di abba die. Forty attack. Let's go. Let's go. Physics. Let's go. Hey, big GZs. Rune weapons. Rune weapons. You can use your Baronite Mace now. Physics, take a picture of you with your Baronite Mace. Baronite Mace. Baronite Mace. I can't speak. If I hit all of my farming patches, it looks like I have. If I hit all of my fruit trees, except for Letya, yes. And my seaweed's not done for one more minute, so I was really good on time. Hey. Physics, take a picture of you with your mace and post it somewhere in the Discord. I want to see it. I, I see still that need to grab that mace, mace myself, too. Can I still grind? I think I have two of the pieces. Yeah, yeah. Physics got uh, a significantly longer grind than necessary because she didn't know about the perks you could unlock at the back. So she didn't get the like increased rare drop rate stuff. There's perks? Oh, no! <laughs> well, shit. It's so over. It's just like me sitting at like 77 rune crafting, no rune crafting outfit. Like, hmm, maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. 
The outfits were really good. It works out. I only need 91 for diaries. That 91 diary requirement's a real bitch. Can't boost for it either. It's rough. <laughs> but you can boost for every other requirement, just not elite Karamja. Yeah. It's fucked. It is fucked. <laughs> diary cape is my goal right now. I just really wish I'd gotten Quest Cape before Desert Treasure 2 came out. Yeah, I got lucky for rejoining and having my quest cape goal back when I did. Like, I have a really dumb account. Like I told you, I'm 60 attack still. Oh. And, like, my goal back then was to get an 85 combat quest cape, and DS2 came out. I ended up getting it at 86 combat. I failed my goal. But... Now I'm I'm thinking that an 85 combat quest cape would be damn near impossible considering Song of the Elves and Desert Treasure 2. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just like, oof. Ooh. Maybe it's not. 17 minutes I mean, before I lose my account. Randy showed us that that level 3 fire cape was possible until Randy showed us it was possible. I wonder if level 3 <laughs> desert treasure is possible. Maybe I don't know if that's Randy. <laughs> I think it has like level requirements that are in attack skills, so you'd be forced to not be level 3. That's rough. Let me see. Oh, that's uh, so far, the only quest that I know that has an actual level requirement is Dream Mentors 85. Desert Treasure 2. What are the quest requirements? 75 fire making, 75 magic, 70 thieving, 62 herbal, or 60 runecraft, and 60 construction. So yeah, that 75 magic would push you, push you past level 3. Um, now, what's the... Th oh, I bet the 75 magic requirements for the... Uh... Leviathan using the shadow spell. No, I think that fight's doable without using magics. It's just way crazier without it. I can't or, think of uh, where in that. I imagine it's part of the uh, Leviathan prep phase where you're like doing all that like magic rune combo stuff. Maybe. <sighs> I'm just trying to figure out where the actual requirement is because like maybe it's skippable using you know some broken runescape mechanics. Maybe. I didn't think you could usually start quests without having the requirements, though. Could be wrong, though. Well, I heard a bad. Um, when you do Valheim, you either have to have someone run the server on your PC and just be the host, which means no one else can play unless that person's playing. Right. Or you just hire a server, which then you can keep up 24-7. I'm not gonna hire. But obviously, a server. you have to pay. But since to I'm hire a streamer, server. I guess you can run the server unless Aiden wants to run it. Because your internet's spotty sometimes, so maybe Aiden's the best choice to host it. We'll have to see if he actually wants to play or not. That's not spotty. Your internet is very spotty. That's pretty reliable. I think every game we've ever played co-op, at some point in time, your internet has gone out. No. Except for like Strange Brigade, because we only played it for like an hour and a half. Nah. <laughs> My internet goes out like, I don't know, like once a month. And even then, it's usually for like 15 minutes. Sometimes it's an hour. And if it happens, it's like 2 a.m. Yeah. It's basically they're doing maintenance or something. I don't know. Kept my rune light um, running when I logged out last time. In the post How much it even costs to get a server. Damn, look at that Baronite Mace. She's gaming. Is that in general? Hey. I want to create a Valheim server. I want 10 slots. I want to host it in New York State. Right, what am I going to do for the next 13 minutes? Good. Physics purposely free to play, or she is, is free to play. Just... But somebody gifted her twenty mil worth of stuff the other day, so when she runs out of things to do in free to play, I think she's gonna bond up or just pay for membership. 
Okay, so not strictly free to play. They're just doing she things is, then. She is strictly free to play as of right now. Somehow she has grinded out 38 prayer in free to play because she is a gamer. Uh, are you sure gamer, not not a masochist? Well, she is a woman, <laughs> so masochist is on the table. Oh, what the hell am I going to do for the next 12 minutes? What is it, like sitting in cow fields for two and a half days? Fuck you, I am not that. Damn. BDSM community stays losing. I guess I go to let you and pick some coconuts. I don't usually ever do that. You have a lovely bunch of coconuts. About to. I do actually. I have a ton of coconuts in my bank. All of my fruit trees are coconut trees except for one dragon fruit tree in Catherby. I think fruit trees is how I did majority of my farming. I fucking hate farming. Damn. Which is funny, because, like, I don't mind farming in real life. Most of my <laughs> XP for farming is just passive from farm runs, the occasional Hispori kill. And whatever I get contracted to do in the farming guild. I think you have, like, 250% my farming experience. I'm at 91. I'm at 97. <laughs> that's the one thing about this game that's always irked me. It's just the exponential bell or the exponential curve of the fucking EXP chart. Oh yeah, it's crazy. It's like ah, oh, you're you're you got fifty levels. Good job. You're you're not even close. At least for most skills, you unlock higher XP methods as your level goes up too. So it kind of trails with that, but not to the extent that it is. Let me cry in fishing, please. Yeah. Temperos is okay for fishing, but it's still like 60k an hour with like perfect attention. Hmm. Mm, that hurts. So can, Recently, can, I've just been AFKing dark crabs in the wilderness. I think you can two tick tunas for like 110k, but you have to. That sounds them. sweaty. It's very sweaty. I ain't about that life. All the tick <laughs> all the tick manipulation stuff's sweaty, without exception. why dark crabs became my jam i was like cool i'll just go bring like 2000 bait and like 50k i might get pk'd whatever i'm here for the exp and you can't steal that from me do you ever get pk'd at dark crabs yeah i mean it's not very common i i could usually get up to like 300 400 dark crabs before i like dip out and i'll get pk'd like half the time yeah and it, they have to be like a decent account to PK me, because with the Elite Wilderness Diary, I just walk in and out of the gate, and I'm like, how much gold did you bring? <laughs> how much gold do you bring? None. With the Elite free, Diary, maybe. it's free. Oh, okay. Yep. That's cool. I still bring gold, because I just sit there and I note all my dark crabs at the guy in the side of the place, so I don't have to leave very often. What does he charge to note? I think he charges like 100 gold per crab. Really? I don't know. That's weird. Let me double check. I also love that he just loves the brothers of Files, Miles, and Niles. That he yeah, changed yeah. his name to something. I decided to do some Zolra eels last night. I couldn't figure out what to do with the account. I definitely didn't want to start Desert Treasure. Got a bunch of Zolra scales off those. Hold most of them, but kept a thousand in the bank. Might as well take these and put them in my blowpipe while I'm here. Truly desperate for something to do. There we go. 18.2% charge on the blowpipe. Let's go. Empty these 
nests out. There are 50 coins per noted dark crab. That's not as bad. It's genuinely not bad at all. Yeah. I got a single emerald ring. I'm so lucky. Oh, you're rich now. I'm all these the G. Are my tabs messed up? Do I have erroneous items at the bottom of my tabs on any of them? Bank cleaning stream win. Right now. <laughs> oh, I can go cook some mantelers. That's what I should do. I got like 300 from Temporos that I just haven't cooked. That makes me cry about all of my inefficient fishing experience. Yeah. I've... I've manually fished up well over 10,000 sharks. I like Temporos, but I've done so much of it lately that I got burnt out on it last night and just went and did Zolra eels for the first time instead. What for Zolra eels? You can fish eels next to Zolra. They, you can take a knife to them and get uh, cooking XP and Zolra scales. Interesting. It's like 20,000 XP an hour for fishing, though. It's like real slow. Oh, that sounds I just did ass. that while I set some videos up to upload. It was good for that. All right, where am I going? I'm going to Berthorpe to cook manta ray. Berthorpe game room. You're not just going to use the uh, myth skilled? Earthwork game room zero spaces away from a fire. Is the myth skilled also zero spaces away from a fire? Yes, not a fire, but a range. Oh, I've got 99 cooking. I can't burn them anyway. Put my cooking cape on and use Berthwork. I've never cooked anything in the myth skilled before. It'd be next to all the other rift rafts. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Take all this shit off. Put my cooking cape on. Oh, I'm going. See you then. See you night, Sean. Good night. Yeah. Take care. All right. Cooking cape and raw manta rays. Nil and hops have sold. Let's go. Oh, they ran up, not down. Go oh, well. I don't need the money. I just wanted it. You're so close to a fishing level, too. That's nice. Yeah, but I need three levels to get more Tenio Elite done. Oh, I mean... Close to that one level. But then I got two full fishing levels. <laughs> Level 90 and 91, but I have to either grind out at Temperos or doing a super slow method. Mauritania unlocks a new herb patch for the herb runs. Technically, I have access to the patch right now, but it's too far out of the way to be worthwhile. Once you get Mauritania Elite, though, just go straight to it. Oh, with the... Whatever the fuck the Mauritania legs, that's legs, it. Yeah. More hilarious. Very soon I'll get level 100 cooking. <laughs> don't worry, I feel that. I don't know what my cooking level is now. I think it's like 104. Cooking such a silly skill, because even when you're not trying to speed level it, you still get XP so fast. 
I just couldn't bring myself to solve the rush. I'm getting 300k cooking XP an hour right now, and all I'm doing is cooking my mantas. I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary. Yeah. Like, I ended up cooking all the sharks that I got because I couldn't bring myself to sell raw sharks for less than cooked shark value. Damn. So I was like, well, fuck it. I'll just cook them. Sharks are my usual food when I'm not doing fucking desert treasure, too. They're my usual you. food regardless. But that's... You probably are in the same boat, whereas you played RuneScape forever a fuck ton ago, and... Half the shit's just muscle memory. Basically. I have literally one manta ray in my bank. They're not something I think about. <laughs> That's great. The manta rays are sea turtles that are higher healing. Uh, 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 I want to say sea turtles, but I don't know. Because I, I want to say sea turtles are 22. I feel like if you're using manta rays over shark, they're probably the same. You know what? I have a wiki open. I'll just go do this. Actually, wait. Didn't they add it to where you can look at the hit points guide? And it tells you now? Oh, Possibly. Uh, oh, sea turtles are 21 points. Sea turtles are 21. I was thinking mantas were better. I just wasn't sure. I'm not going to have time to cook all my manta rays. I have 1 minute and 40 seconds left on the account. Then I'm gonna say, uh, outro, and then I'm gonna go get some food. And I'll be back on in about 30 minutes. So if you wanna follow the channel and get the notification, if not, you can just stay in the Discord and send a notification when I go live there, too. I'm running out of breath. Wait, what? I'll just stay in the channel. Appreciate it, Physic. I'll be back soon enough. I'll be doing some lies of pee. You can eat a tuna potato, a manta ray, and an anglerfish all in the same tick? That's what? Correct. I don't know that I believe it. All right, no, oh, really okay. Believe it. No, I, I read it wrong, and that's why I shouldn't have believed it. It's the tuna potato, the manta ray, as well as anglerfish, as long as you have 93 or more hit points or all 22 healing foods. Oh, yeah. All right, deposit my cooking cape, do an inventory of sharks, and I will get logged out while I'm cooking them, but I think the inventory will finish. It works the way it used to work. It depends on what the desync value is for the game. Oh shit, got my money. Quick, send a bank. Let's go. I burnt a shark. It's over for me. We'll be logged out in five seconds, presumably. Oh! Got a second. I got five seconds. I'm cheating the system. Hey. Look at that That's logout what I like timer. To see. 20 seconds past six hours. So what you're telling me is you had more time for Desert Treasure 2. Apparently. <laughs> it would be very funny if they changed the logout timer mechanics and I just didn't know about it. There's a lot of stuff they changed and I just have no idea it's a thing until somebody shows up in the chat and tells me they changed it. Right, I'm the same way. Oh, four burn shark. Oh no, how will we ever financially recover from this? I definitely thought it was going to log me out when I finished cooking them. There it is. Let's go. We just had to catch up. All right. That's it for the stream for right now. I'll be back on in a little bit for some lies of P. I'll be it for RuneScape for a few days. That's it for right now. I got to get some food. See ya.